Don't ever minimize the power of God. Sometimes I think we forget or don't keep in the forefront of our minds who God really is. We allow trouble and disappointment to bombard our lives to the extent we struggle with hopelessness and wonder if there will ever be any real change or deliverance. But I come to rescue you in the name of the Lord. As I read the book of Isaiah chapter 40, it reemphasized the awesomeness of the God we serve. Verses 21 through 23 says, Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Had it not been told you from the beginning? Had ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing, he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Then verses 28 through 29 reiterate the magnitude of God's identity and sovereignty upon the earth, which said, Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. With that being said, how can we minimize the power of God in any circumstance of our lives when God declares in Jeremiah 32 and 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Along with that, Psalms 24 and 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So why would God be so mindful of us to do this on a continuous basis? Because God declares in Jeremiah 31, 3b, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. And it gets better because God is a good father and knows when enough is enough. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Therefore, in the impossibility times of our lives, God is yet the God of the possibilities. He never changes. Just as the children of Israel came up against an impossible Red Sea that was before them, and Pharaoh's army behind them, God showed himself strong as he parted the Red Sea for them to cross over on dry ground, while Pharaoh's army drowned in the Red Sea. Exodus 15, 8, 10 through 11 says, And with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together, the flood stood upright as a heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. Thou didst blow with thy wind, the sea covered them, they sank as lead in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? So stop worrying and panicking because God got this, and he's more than able to deliver you. Lastly, Philippians 4 and 19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So remember, don't ever minimize the power of God. Get calm, God is taking care of me.